Hey guys, Trey Arns here with Guide to Gear with another review on some technical clothing. Uh, today I'm going to be reviewing First Light's new Wick 150 Ultralight. I have a crew and then I have some uh, boxers as well. Um, if you guys watched my Sitka video, I actually did have the Sitka Core um, long sleeve that was made out of Polygen. I actually decided to sell that. Uh, trying to go with mostly all merino or at least a merino blend for all my base layers and stay away from synthetics so first light had their 15% off sale a couple weeks ago so I decided to jump on a couple of the pieces uh, first one being this this is the wick series 150 ultralight crew um, if you watch my videos before I'll just state my weight and height right away for sizing I am 5'11 at about 185 pounds now. I normally sit between 190, 195. Uh, it's summer. I've been eating a little healthier, so I lost a little weight. Um, so I want to go over sizing of this piece. So I am 5'11, 190 pounds. This is a large. I have a semi athletic build, and it seems to fit around the chest and around the back. Perfect. The arms, if you can see, if I stick my arm out, a little long, but that's okay. I'd rather have it be a little long than a little short, especially if you got the thumb hole. Uh, length in the back then. So if you can see, it does cover the butt, which to me is how a long sleeve should be made. Uh, I do want them longer and I want them longer so I can tuck them in. Um, so I would say if you're around that range, around that weight, large is going to be the way to go. I read a couple of reviews on people going with mediums that were probably around the same weight. I think I could go or I think I could get away with it. But with this one, uh, like I said, I do like it longer. I thought about ordering a medium just to compare, but this one seems to fit pretty well. So this is definitely going to be a good piece. It seems a little heavier than the Sitka's core that I had, but that's totally fine with me. Um, being Moreno, it's going to breathe better and it's going to stay cool. So I'm excited to try it out. I haven't really worn it out much because it's obviously if you, anyone who's been around Wisconsin or in Wisconsin or in the Midwest, it's been pretty hot here the last couple weeks. So the next thing I'm going to talk about is Sitka's or First Light's new Wick Series Boxer Brief. So I do work outside. I work for a lumber company. I deliver, so I'm constantly moving around, carrying stuff, and I sweat a lot. I was looking for something that I could test out or I could try that would just help me a little better than the normal boxer briefs that I'm used to wearing. So I decided to go with a pair of these. Now, being the Wick series, uh, ultra light, I thought, why not try them out? I'll wear them when I'm working. Um, I did get the Wick short brief, so it's not going to be the loose one, and it's going to be the short. Sucks that I have to make or I have to say the first thing that I've ever had to say bad about uh, First Light's product. This material is the same as this. It's ultra comfortable, super comfortable. Um, does exactly what it's supposed to as a merino blend. It wicks moisture and it keeps you cool. Now, I went with the short size to kind of mimic the boxers that I wear. I didn't want to wear a spandex type or the length of a spandex. So instantly when I got these, I could tell they were a little short. Um, these are also size medium. That's normally the size boxer I wear. I am a 32, 32 pant. So normally fit right in the medium boxers and these, these things ride really bad. They ride up right where you don't want them. Uh, I wore them one day and I wasn't impressed with them. Uh, I spent most of the day picking my ass rather than focusing on what I was doing at work and it was just uncomfortable. Uh, being first light's policy, they don't obviously allow returns if you're going to wear it. Uh, so I decided to wash it and try shrinking it. Maybe I thought that since I lost a couple pounds that it just wasn't fitting right. Well, I wore them all day today and that definitely was not the case. Um, I'm actually kind of disappointed. I can't believe that 
you'd think they would be a little tighter and they wouldn't ride as bad, but I don't know if you can see that. It's like they're not, for some reason in the back, they're built like straight. So your legs pull right up to under your groin and these pretty much sit at the end of your butt, the bottom of your butt. So you spend all day picking at your ass and I can't believe for a $40 pair of boxers, I'll probably never wear them. Um, I might try selling them. I saw one person have a review on how much he liked them. So maybe someone out there will buy them. I think if you're built a little stockier, um, maybe you have a bigger butt or bigger legs than most people, uh, it would fit. But for me, for me, this is the only piece of first light I've ever had that's not doing it. Um, it's uncomfortable. I work for 11, 12 hours a day and I thought about it all day. It's constantly bothering me. So I'm not sure what I can do. I might try shrinking them again, but like I said, I've only worn them twice. So I might try selling them, but the chances of someone wanting a pair of boxers that have been worn twice are probably not that good. So might just have to scratch this one up as a loss. Again, the material is amazing. It's phenomenal. If you've never worn, I've never worn Moreno as a underwear and it is breathable. It keeps everything cool and everything dry, just like it should. Um, I would recommend the wick, just get the longer ones. Get the ones that come all the way halfway down your leg. Um, I'm not sure if those ride. I never owned a pair. So if you're watching this and you do own a pair of the longer ones, comment under here or head over to my Facebook Guide to Gear and comment under the video when I post it on there on how those fit. Uh, I want another pair. I just want to get probably go end up going with the bigger ones. So, yeah, for being the first two base layer pieces that I bought from First Light, I'm really impressed with this one. It does seem pretty lightweight. It does seem like it's gonna uh, wick moisture. Obviously, like the the synthetic or the merino blend's gonna do. But as for the the boxer briefs, if you're gonna get them, get them longer. Um, I was, I made a thing on Instagram too that said I'm a big, big beer drinker. So I was going to do a little beer review or a little, uh, I'll focus on one beer every video. Um, this week I'm drinking one of three sheep's craft beers. It is called the Uber Joe. We're looking at a Maplewood stave, stav, I don't know how to say that, aged imperial stout with coffee, cocoa nibs, and vanilla. Um, I'm not a big dark beer guy, but we did stop at Three Sheeps in Sheboygan, Wisconsin. If anyone's from the area, you definitely should check that place out. They have so many awesome beers on tap, and the tap room is actually pretty awesome for being a bar. But it's 10% alcohol. Not bad for being a dark beer. It's one that I like. But if you like a stronger dark beer, that's probably one to go with. If you like the video, make sure to comment, subscribe, like, head over to Facebook if you have any comments on the Arrowwall or the Wick series as well. I'd like to see how you guys feel about those boxers. I know all the reviews are good. If you go under First Light's website and you go under the boxer that I have, someone actually has already made a comment on there about the exact same thing. So if you're going to order them, they're worth it. Just order the long ones. Again, Facebook, Guide to Gear, Instagram, Guide to Gear. Check me out.